Example 12.3. Baseline, a nationwide franchise for environmental engineering services, has acquired new workstations and 3D modeling software for its 100 affiliate sites at a cost of $4,000 per site. The estimated salvage for each system after three years is expected to be 5% of the first cost. The franchise manager in the home office in San Francisco wants to compute the depreciation for a three-year MACRS model or tax depreciation. The modified accelerated cost recovery system or MACRS is the only method that is approved by the IRS for depreciation. It is based on other two methods which are the straight line and the declining balance but we will be focusing on the MACRS. There's new notation introduced in chapter 12. We have an uppercase B representing the first cost instead of the P that we're used to because in this chapter it will stand for basis. Okay, so it's your first cost or basis. We have the N which is the recovery period or the total amount of years. We have the salvage value uh, which is the amount at the end of N years. We have T which are the individual years. Then we have uppercase D. This would be your depreciation amount in dollars. Okay, and it will vary depending on the year. That's why it has the subscript T. Then we have a lowercase d. This is also depreciation, but it's in percentage. You may remember from previous chapters that we used a lowercase i for the interest rate. Similarly, here we're going to be using a lowercase d for the rate of depreciation. And for the MACRS model, it will vary each year, so therefore we are going to use a subscript T. Then we have a book value. This value right here will be after you depreciate it for a certain amount of years. Okay, so it would be the remaining, uh, we can say the remaining value after depreciation. Uh, and it also has a subscript T and note that this is different from the market value that we covered in previous chapters. Uh, for the MACRS method, the salvage value will always be zero. The reason for this is if you go to, I'm going to go to slide 12-12 because it's a cleaner version of the table. If you add all of the numbers, these are the rates, depreciation rates. If you add all of the depreciation rates in the individual columns, each column will add up to 100%. So this means that at the end of your N years, you will have depreciated your asset completely. So that's why you will always use a salvage value of zero. Okay, so now let's start looking at what we have. So first of all, it says right here that uh, the workstations are for 100 sites and the cost would be $4,000 per site. So our basis for depreciation will be 4000 times the 100 sides, giving us a total of 400,000. Then they talk about the estimated salvage value for each system after three years being 5% of the first cost. Okay, so regardless of what the paragraph says, for the MACRS method, your S will always be zero. If you were using one of the other depreciation methods, then you will be using this uh, salvage value given. But if it's the MACRS, the one that we're focusing uh, on, then it will always be zero, even if the paragraph states otherwise. Then they want, uh, uh, the, pro the problem wants us to compute the depreciation for 
a three-year MACRS model. So that means that our recovery period will be equal to three years. And we're going to be needing the depreciation rates from slide 12-12. So the best way to solve this is with a table. So we will have the year. And then I'm going to put the two columns, one for the depreciation amount. And this is the formula. So it's the rate at time t times the basis. That will not change. And then we also need the book value at a certain year, which is going to be equal to the book value of the previous year minus the depreciation in the same year. Okay, so we start by writing down our years. We have year 0, we have year 1, year 2, year three but even though it says that we must uh, compute the depreciation for a three-year model if you look at the columns here for n equal to three that's the one that we're going to be using for this example it actually goes up to year number four same case for n equal to five you're going to notice that it goes up to year six for N7, it goes up to year 8, and so forth. Okay, so the reason for this extra year, well it's not that it's an extra, extra year, uh, but it's due to this half-year convention. It means that the first year is only depreciated for half of the year, and then the last year is the, miss the other missing half. So uh, as you may see here, year one would be half, and then year four would be another half. So yes, in total, you will have the three years, but the first one and the fourth one would be half and half, making up for the three years, okay? So we will need to add a year four to our table, okay? and just for... Uh, reminder purposes, I'm going to put a note here saying that we go up to n plus 1 because of the half year convention. Okay, so now we can start. We do not have depreciation in year zero, but the book value that we have in year zero, it is actually our basis, or in other words, as I mentioned, the book value in year zero. Then we must compute the depreciation in dollars for year one. Okay. According to the formula, we're going to, or D1, will be equal to the depreciation in year one times the basis. Kay. So D1, we have to get it from this table. So you look for the column N3. And for the first rate, it would be 33.33% depreciation. So if we uh, plug it in as a decimal, it would be 0 0.3333 times the basis, which is 400,000. This will give us a value of 133,320. Now we must compute the book value in year one which is going to be the book value in year zero minus the depreciation in year one. 
Okay, so the book value in year zero, we mentioned that it's the basis. So it's the 400,000 minus what you just got to your left, 133,320, giving us a total of 266,608. That would be BV1. Then, for depreciation two, it would be rate for year two times the basis. So we must go to the table and the rate would be 44.45. 0.4445 times the basis, that doesn't change. for a total of 177,800. Now we must compute the book value in year two, which is the book value in the previous year minus the depreciation for that same year. Okay, so in this case, it will be 266,680 minus what you just got to the left, 177,800, giving us a total of 88,880. We continue with year three. So the depreciation in year three is a rate for year three times the basis, the rate is 14.81, so here it's going to be 0 0.1481 times the 400,000 for a total of 59,240, and then the book value for year number three would be the book value of the previous year minus the depreciation for that same year, which is the top, 88,880, minus the left, 59,240, for a total of 29,640. Then the very last year, appreciation in the fourth year, is a fourth rate times the basis. Kay. And this is 7.41. You will see that the very last uh, rate for each and one of the columns, it's close to half of the previous year. And that's because of the half year convention. So this is 7.41. It's going to be 0 0.0741 times the basis. This is for a total of 29,640. And then the book value in year four, it's the book value of the previous year minus the depreciation for that same year. And they have to be the same or very, very close uh, to each other. So you should get 29,640 minus 29,640 for a salvage value of zero. And then again, this is your salvage value. Okay, so if I were to ask what the book value in year two is, your answer would be this value right here. Yes, so we're still computing the MACRS model for three years, but if I only wanna know the book value in year two, you may stop right here with the 88,880, 
or you may decide to keep going just to make sure that you depreciate it all the way down to zero and if that's the case that means that your answer is correct okay, if you're not getting a zero for the salvage value or the book value of the very last year then that means that there is something wrong with the calculations the general depreciation system or GDS is the most common one so if the N is not given in the problem you will have to go to slide 12-15 or look for table 12.4 and you will search for your asset in this list so for example if the problem is telling you to depreciate a tractor you will be using an N equal to 3 if the problem is asking you to depreciate oil and gas drilling equipment your N will be 5 and so forth if there is a specific asset that doesn't fall into any of these categories or that you cannot find in the list then you will use an N equal to 7 for all the property that is not in one of these categories.